comes to our next guest, nothing says more badass than Shelley Mateer. From working for the CIA to writing novels, children's book, uh, cooking in the CIA app, let's not forget the whole Burt Mitt thing. Uh, she's got a product line for that for babies. I mean, seriously, she's, she's done it all, uh, including her career at CIA. Uh, I consider picking up my kids a successful day. Like, that's, that's, that's kind of my bar. Uh, but Shelley, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's start off with probably the most basic question, and I'm sure you've answered it a million times. Why go from CIA to writer, creator, app designer? Uh, they all seem like lifelong careers, but you're just doing them all in a single lifetime. Um, well, I, I left the CIA early. Obviously, I didn't have a full career. Um, and I just I wanted to live where I wanted to live, and they wanted me to come back to D.C. and do the same job I had done. A million times so uh, I just want to do something different and I tend to be pretty creative and that's that's what I did I love it well I mean so for many people not not me disclaimer eating is a thing done to live <laughs> I guess it'd probably be healthier if I operated on that that <laughs> that that way of that mode of living but but it's not that's not how I do it but most people or, or some people do it that way it's 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 something you do to live not necessarily enjoy um, yeah. Did you have to break from that mindset in the CIA? Like the long hours, always on the move, somewhere, somewhere new. Like, is, is the app designed for that kind of lifestyle? How, how do you approach your your cooking and your style? Uh, well, I started doing that actually after the agency because I, I learned from people I met there, et cetera, old boyfriends, um, how to cook. And uh, when I got out, I started doing it for myself. And I, I really don't care about health so much, honestly. I just make what I like, and I tend to be, um, I guess I'm pretty healthy myself, so the things I make, some of them are extravagant, some of them are easy, like mom meals. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you've got to have those easy go-tos. Is there, like, one style, do you touch on everything, or is there kind of one theme or style that you tend to stick with? I'd say I touch on everything. I try to do, I mean, I do from all over the world. I'm actually going to add some more recipes um, as I learn. There, I don't have a lot of time. You know how little kids, you don't exactly have time to do things you want to do sometimes. Yeah. But I try to learn new, new places, new food. And I'm going to integrate that into the app, hopefully, this fall. I love it. I love it. Well, I mean, did you always want to design an app around cooking, or was this, I mean, obviously, I know you did this all after you got out of the agency, but was it kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing or something you've been planning on since you got out? Uh, when I got out, my idea was, oh, I'm going to learn. I had all these big plans. I'm going to learn how to make an app. I'm going to learn ethical hacking. I'm going to, you know. And then I did none of it. So it took me until, actually, till I had kids, ironically, to actually get things done. I wrote my books. I did the app. Um, and no cooking. I was kind of looking. I was going to do a golf app of all things, and then this was just the one, honestly, that was the easiest for me to do. Yeah. yeah. Where, where do you spend the most focus? Is it on your books? Is it on the app? Is it on your 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 product line for for babies, like the Burt Mitt? Like, where do you, do you break it up evenly, or is there one that's really your passion? I would say the writing books part is probably. Yeah my bread and butter now well let's let's do this we we appreciate you coming by before we let you go what is the best place to find more information about everything you're doing all those products your books the app etc um at shellymateer.com you can see everything i do and i try to blog every once in a while i love it and yeah. and, and then it, it, for the app store do you just go to the app store Yes, it's only on iPhone right now because, again, that was the language I learned. I should have done both, but <laughs> maybe one, one day when I have a bigger budget. <laughs> hey, well, we'll try and help support that and, and get you there. We love what you're doing. Love, obviously, your service to the country. It's something that, that means a lot to us here at OpsLens. Uh, obviously, we've got some familiar, familiar paths that we've been on there. But, Shelly, thanks so much for being here. We wish you the best of luck with everything. Thank you for having me. You got it. All right, big thanks to Shelly for stopping by. Also, Bart McCoyth, earlier in the show, is awesome having him on. We certainly appreciate his time. And we appreciate you guys. I know you've had to be very patient with us as we've been on a long and extended break, but we're thrilled to be back. 
glad to have you with us, and we'll look forward to doing this each and every Monday right here on OpsLens.com, OpsLens TV, and all of our social platforms. For now, we'll see you next week. Have a great day. Oh, my God.